Hello everyone, this is Ben Foggins Media Corner back again and happy Valentine's Day everyone. I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day with the love of your life around the world. And also for this day, I fancy talking to you guys about this film on my channel, which this film I wanted to talk to you guys on my channel for quite a bit. And now today, now today is the day. I finally am able to talk to you guys about this movie. So today's romantic film I'm, I'm here to talk to you guys about for Valentine's Day is the 2014 coming of age romantic drama based on the novel of the same name and that movie is of course The Fault in Our Stars. So this movie was directed by Josh Boone and like I said this is based on the book of the same name by John Green which was released in 2012 and the story of the film is that we follow this 16 year old girl named Hazel Grace Lancaster played by Shailen Woodley who is like I said she's 16 years old and she is and she has been diagnosed with terminal cancer, which basically affects her lungs, in which she ha she's, has to carry around an oxygen tank with her, and she has to have these tubes in the nose to help her breathe. And we 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 see how she lives with her lives with that in her in her home in her home life, which she lives at home with her her parents, who are played by Laura Dern and Sam Tremell. And we also see how her life how her life is 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 like every day for her like she goes to doctor's appointments and seeing her living at home and then and also she goes to support group which she goes there where she also meets a bunch of other cancer patients which they share their experience and feelings to each other on, on what kind of illness they're facing like if it's leukemia or whatever cancer uh, like whatever cancer they're they're dealing with and for Hazel, she doesn't like going there at all until one day when she goes to support group, she meets this um, boy named um, <clears throat> Augustus Waters, played by Ansel Elgort, which is actually a can which is also a cancer patient, but he's actually also a cancer survivor, in which he has survived cancer and he has an amputated leg. And one day after support group, uh, they both start to talk with each other and they start bonding with each other sharing what they're like doing with what they're like doing with their lives like what's their favorite book to read what they're like watching on tv or and also what their favorite music is and stuff like that so we see them bonding a friendship together and then later on in the movie we also see their friendship becomes more than that it then become it then starts to become a loving relationship and we see how they share their loving feelings to each other and then we also see them dealing with like was ha w dealing with themselves of um about the the illness they're facing and like what's gonna ha if I like, thinking like what's gonna happen to them like if they're gonna pull it through or not gonna make it through and see how their lives pretty much changed and all that so that's pretty much the story of the fault in our stars so the fault in our stars I was briefly introduced to this movie back in 2014. Uh, I started hearing a few people who were talking about the movie on YouTube and I didn't even know this was actually based on a book until I rewatched the film in recent years and um, all I know is that the book I haven't read the book but all I know from my heard the book is actually is really is a really great book it's also a heart-wrenching book you know about it, which is mostly aimed, mostly aimed towards teenagers since teenagers since it's about two teenagers who have cancer who fall in love which that's pretty much a short and simple some some plot plot synopsis if you if you want to summarize the book or the movie if you want to if you wanted to recommend any of those to any people who who would fancy doing that if they wanted to either read it or watch the film <laughs> so i and i did want to check it out since I started hearing, since after hearing a few people were talking about the film on YouTube, so back in twenty fifteen, I um, I won a gift card from um, from school when I did well in school, and then a few, and then one day on the weekend, me and my family were, we went out uh, first to a farm to get some food, and then later on we went into town, and then I did use my gift card to get my own copy of the movie itself which I got here on Blu-ray as you can see right here which this is the little Infinities edition as you can see here which and this also contains two different cuts of the film I didn't see the extended cut at first I only saw the theatrical cut first and, and if I if I had to rewatch the film again like if I was going to rewatch it today I would have to watch the extended cut first because I have seen the theatrical cut numerous times 
but when I heard and since I did when I actually did hear there was an extended cut I I decided I had to see a few scenes of like what was cut out and well I'll talk about them later on but also on the same day when I got this I did watch the film I did watch this movie with my family we I, I watched it with my mom my dad and my brothers we all watched this together and and I had and since then I have started rewatching the film in recent years and all I gotta say is the fault in our stars all I gotta say is I really like this movie a lot this is this all on in all honesty this is a great movie the praises I can say for this movie are the acting in the movie Shailen Woodley gives one of the best performances I've ever seen from this actress she's fantastic in the movie and she absolutely shines the role of Hazel Grace Lancaster since the movie is about her story it's mainly her story that's being that's sh that's that we follow in this movie which I really dug into the story which we'll talk about the story later on um we'll just get into the acting first but for Shailen Woodley herself, playing Hazel, like I said, she's fantastic. And the lines of dialogue she says in the movie are really powerful and quite at times quite heart-wrenching to listen to. And still breaks my it still is heart-wrenching ever since I've rewatched the film. And um and since then I started seeing her in other projects. Like I've seen her in the Divergent series, which that's another book book adaptation she's done alongside this. Which the Divergent series, they're not I know they're not the greatest films. Um I haven't. I've only seen the first two, but I haven't seen the third. Although the, the third one I heard was pretty. I heard the third one was bad, but um, I've but also I've also seen her in uh, the Descendants. Not to be confused with the the, the the Disney film that everyone seems to talk about nowadays. No, it's the twenty eleven comedy drama with George Clooney, which I thought she was great in that movie. But here, I think it's one of her best performances I've ever seen from this actress. And Ansel Elgort, who plays um, Augustus Waters. He was fantastic in the movie, and I'd say it's one of his best performances I've ever seen from this guy. And he has such a beautiful voice as well. Ever since rewatching the film, I still think he does have a beautiful voice, especially for the the lines he said, the lines of dialogue he says in the movie are just wow. What he says in the movie, it's it just gets me going. It just gets me all the time, and it just br absolutely breaks my heart. And it still really does break my heart for what he said in the movie that for the moments that are really heart-wrenching the watch which and which for those scenes when I was watching the movie ever since re-watching it it still gets me going and I'm trying my best not to cry here <laughs> but yeah and the chemistry between the two leads it's really lovely but again it's really heartbreaking because you know they're just here to uh, are fa who are now who are facing something really terrible with their lives which is cancer it is really heart wrenching to watch, but for what they do together in the film, it's really lovely. And God, like I said, I just I just don't want to cry on camera here. Anyway, um, I'm feeling all right at the moment again. But um, the other performances in the film that you got Laura Dern, who you may know her from Jurassic Park, uh, Sam Tremell, who these two play the parents in the movie of of Hazel. I thought these two together were absolutely great in the film. And Nat Wolf, who plays um, uh, Isaac, who's also who's also who's a cancer patient and is a friend of Hazel and Gus in the movie. I thought he was really good in the movie, and Willem Dafoe as well. I thought he was great in the movie, uh, and all around, just all the acting in the film is absolutely fantastic. But the best of them all is, of course, Shane the Woodley and Anson Logo for portraying such wonderful performances that are absolutely incredible to watch and just hot breaking the watch especially with their chemistry together which is absolutely absolutely but it is which is lovely but again it is but at the same time it's just heartbreaking to watch and the story as well like i said this is based off the book by john green of the same name from what i've heard since i re since i after after i watched the film i heard this this movie is sort of based was based on um a, on on the youtuber's life which this YouTuber was actually was actually called Esther Earl, who she was a YouTuber back then. But then, I for my first, she was diagnosed with cancer, and she had been a fan of John Green when he started becoming a, a famous author. And then, unfortunately, you know, in 2010, from my, and then unfortunately in 2010, she, she unfortunately died from cancer, which it's it's really sad. And ever since I rewatched the film and learned and and heard about the story. It, I find it. I even find it more heartbreak. I even find it more heartbreaking as well, along with the movie. Since rewatching it, it's still, 
and ever since I rewatched the film again and again, it still breaks my heart, like, even more once than ever. Like, I was just, like, upset and then getting more upset as well. And the story, and from, you know, from the source material from the, from the book to the big screen, it manages to stay, like, stay, stay well enough to the source material of the book, which I thought the filmmakers behind that, behind that, did a, a great job with that. Which... Luckily for for because nowadays for Hollywood we do tend to get some like romantic novels to big screen which some of them don't do work well but some of them don't really work well I mostly see the ones that don't really work that well to me luckily this one isn't one of them because again this this one managed to be what the what the book is like and the writing in the movie I find the writing in the movie to be absolutely powerful and really really moving as well because again there are some there are some lines of dialogue in the movie that I find this movie to be really heart wrenching just like I said along with the performances um which um there are some moments in the film that do tend to have some really powerful more powerful lines in the film that still are extreme that I do find them really powerful ever since I rewatched the film like there is a scene where we do see the two leads in Amsterdam but I won't say whereabouts because spoilers for those who have not seen it I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it but for that scene it still really breaks my heart it still does and also when I saw the extended cut I had seen it a while ago but I haven't seen it in recent years though I will rewatch it again this year so don't worry <laughs> um, but the extended cut for there are some scenes in the extended cut that I thought were um, also powerful as well and I kind of find them almost almost a little bit more powerful um, than, the th than the theatrical version because there is a scene in the, in the extended cut that I, I do remember but I'm not going to say what, what though, because, again, spoilers. But that scene there while I was watching, it, I thought it was, I thought it was just incredibly moving. And, and also for some other writing moments, there was some cliche moments that I kind of knew since I rewatched the film, which they don't tend to, like, make me pull my hair and just get, like, frustrated and all that. I'll be like, oh, I've seen this a thousand times. Can we just move on? I wasn't like that. But um, it manages to avoid all of that. Well, it does tend to show some new stuff, some new stuff to it, which I thought the filmmakers did a great job with that. And um, there are some, and also there are some other moments in the film that were unexpectedly shocking, which we'll get into the t which we'll get into the tone mixtures as well, along with that. Which the tone mixtures, I thought the tone mixtures in the film were absolutely were handled really well done because there it does tend to be light-hearted will also be just unexpectedly shocking they'll just make you cry your eyes out which it, it had me the sax it just had me like it, it it managed to get me like that which had me smile on my face but then just made me shocked and just cry for some scenes like that which i thought the film which again the filmmakers i thought they did they did a, a incredible job with all of that and the direction by josh boone himself i thought his direction this film it's a great looking film for a for a, a tragic love story like this one to cap to mix the tone together to make sure this movie isn't going to be like so dramatic or depressing or anything like that and because i thought because he manages to have you know um light-hearted moments that tend to make you smile and happy and also just to show you some moments that are, are really are of course going to be heartbreaking and also as well like i said being unexpectedly heartbreaking as well which Again, like I said, there are some moments in the film I thought were unexpectedly heart-wrenching heart to watch. It was just mainly towards the final act in the film. And which I thought Josh Boone did a great job with all of that. And I've got no other single flaw other than there were some bit of cliches that were kind of noticeable though. But still in the end though, The Fault in Our Stars, it's a great romantic drama. It's definitely one of the best book adaptations I've seen in quite a while. Because nowadays, for some movies that's based off books that's either romantic or anything else like that that's based off just one book and not part of the series usually those want for those kind of other films they're not using my kind of cup of tea because some of the ones i keep seeing were just like okay or just decent or even just really terrible but luckily this one isn't terrible it's one of the best ones i've seen it's definitely one of my favorite like teen romantic films I've seen along with love simon and stuff like that if you're a fan of the book and if you haven't seen the movie it's there's a few ways to watch this film it's streaming on disney plus the you can rent the film of your choice on your app of your choice 
or just buy the film on your physical media of your choice. I personally recommend picking up this on Blu-ray because it's definitely worth owning for your collection on either DVD or Blu-ray. So that's pretty much all I have to say about The Fault in Our Stars overall. I'm going to give The Fault in Our Stars 4 out of 5. Yep, it's a great rating for a great movie like this one. If Again, if you're a fan of the book, you need to check out this movie because it is one, it is 100% a huge recommendation by myself. If you're a fan of like teen romantic films or anything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching for my re movie review on The Fault in Our Stars. And let me know what you think of The Fault in Our Stars if you have seen this already. Do you absolutely love this movie or was this not your cup of tea? So thank you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And also for today, I am going to be doing another review today for Valentine's Day, which is going to be on a new movie that I'm going to be seeing today later. I'm going to be seeing a new movie I'm going to be seeing that's released this year, which I'm going to see today, which is uh, Marry Me. I'm going to be seeing that today. So I will do my AK After Store review for that. I'll be doing that later on tonight after I've uh, re after I finished reviewing this movie. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for, and like I said, stay tuned for the upcoming video as well as for more upcoming videos pretty soon. And as always, this has been Foggins Media Corner signing off.